Now I've had the normal Korean fire noodles quite a few times, but I've never tried the yellow packaging one. Apparently it has cheese. That's to be expected because in Korean cuisine, cheese goes with everything, and I'm here for it. Never too much cheese. This is eaten as a dry noodle, so first we will cook it with some hot water. They have these convenient little holes you can poke through to drain the water. Next, we can add our seasoning packets. The red one seems like the typical delicious Samyang hot sauce, and the other one has powdered cheese and seaweed bits. Yum! Mix it together, and we're ready to go. Oh yeah, it has the same deliciously spicy flavor from the original, with an additional cheesy flavor. That also takes the heat off as well, but it's still quite spicy. This noodle is bomb. Yo, what up guys? Man, this might actually be my favorite all-time Korean dish, jajangmyeon. Now, yes, the first time I heard of this dish, I laughed because it literally sounds like a remixed version of jajangmyeon, which is a classic mainland Chinese dish that translates to fried sauce noodle made with a fried black bean sauce and noodles. So this dish is unsurprisingly known as a Korean Chinese fusion dish. And I gotta be honest, the taste profile is right up my alley. Whereas the Chinese jajangmyeon is primarily salty savory, jajangmyeon is sweet savory savory and very umami too. It's so addictive, especially with that sweet onion and there's even seafood in here. This is a 5 out of 5. If you guys haven't tried it yet, man, smash the like button and subscribe and then order some for takeout. Tis the day that the Lord has made. Korean fire noodles, hot oil. Yeah, it's always this messy. Garlic, green onions, boldak fire noodle sauce, seaweed and sesame pack, hot oil. That smells crazy. Finish with QP mayo. Look at those goodies down there. I'm swiping those up. Ah. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm. It adds even more dimension to this noodle. More dimension to that heat because of the garlic. It is straight up glistening. Mm hmm. This might be top three peak hot oil. Mika rank first, shen ramen, and then this. And that QP mail was a good idea. Five out of a possible five. See you guys tomorrow. Yo guys, have you ever tried this Korean dish called jjampong? Now I don't think I'm saying it right or authentically, but it's basically this Korean style spicy seafood noodles. And that combination of words alone is able to activate my saliva glands. Look at that color and look at what's inside. Onions cooked to sweet translucent deliciousness. All that amazing flavor soaked into the broth and the broth itself is beyond words to me. It's seafoody, tangy, satisfying, spicy. I could eat this all day. They don't skimp out on the actual seafood either. We got squid, shrimp, shrimp, mussels, and more. I always feel like the broth is 90% this entire dish and that most people get it because they can drink this amazing broth. But with the yummy ramen-like noodles, there is nothing else to say. 5 out of 5, smash that like button and subscribe for more. What is going on, Wang Gang? Today we're at this awesome Korean joint called Suda. They're serving up this massive hot plate of bulgogi with matzo cheese, sweet corn, tamago, spicy green onion, and of course rice. Look at that cheese pull. This place is ridiculous. I've been here a couple times and I highly recommend their oshi rolls as well. This is how we do. Combine everything together. Get some of that rice, get some spicy green onions, get a tamago, and the cheesiest, corniest bulgogi I've ever had. Bulgogi is already pretty pretty delicious on its own, but if you add this level of cheesiness to it, man, that is a 5 out of 5 right there. Like I've been saying, man, Korean people know what's up. When in doubt, just put cheese on it. You can never go wrong. We did indeed do a good number on this plate, but we always leave extremely full and satisfied. See you guys tomorrow.